Back in 2005, Denise Richards was cast in the role of long-suffering wife and mother. Pregnant with her second daughter, Lola Rose, she filed for divorce from Charlie Sheen. Among the litany of complaints against her husband were claims that he had been physically and verbally abusive towards her and had threatened to have her killed. The fact that Charlie had accidentally shot his previous wife, Kelly Preston, added weight to Denise's assertions, which were padded out with allegations of a wide range of erratic and dangerous behaviour by Charlie, including addictions to porn, gambling and prescription drugs. He denied it all vigorously, and the divorce was finalised in 2006, amicably, according to their lawyers. Just as she was basking in the glow of that victory, TMZ.com got hold of a story that put paid to her chances of hanging on to the moral high ground. Reports emerged that she'd sought solace in the arms of Bon Jovi guitarist Richie Sambora, tempting him away from his 10-year marriage to Denise's best friend, Heather Locklear. Denise defended herself by contending that Heather and Richie were already separated at the time. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a husband stealer. I didn't steal a husband. That's, that's been a big one that's been out there. But gossip columnists deemed there was no excuse for muscling in on a best friend's ex. And Heather's subsequent descent into depression, which led to a stint in rehab and an arrest for driving under the influence of a controlled substance, did nothing to improve the media's opinion of the actress and former model. In an attempt to reverse the tide of disapproval, she roped her daughters into appearing with her on her own reality TV show, Denise Richards, It's Complicated. Well, I'd be lying if I said it was easy. The last three years have been very difficult. To go through these things personally is very hard, but then to have it all public is uh, 10 times harder. It's, uh, it's humiliating. <laughs> but, you know, I have my daughters and I just have to uh, move forward. It was time for ex-husband Charlie to assume the moral high ground by labeling her show plans greedy, vain and exploitative and attempting to get the court to ban her from including their daughters. However, his attempt failed, and Denise was looking at a tidy settlement. The truth is, we haven't settled our finances, and uh, when the check clears, I'll take it. It's uh, unlike any single mom. I have bills to pay like everyone else. And she defended her insistence on putting her girls in the spotlight. You know, I wanted this show to be real, and, and the reality is I'm a single mom to two little girls, and, um, I would, be I would be manipulating the show if I didn't have them in it, but all that, everything's real. That's, I decided I'm just gonna bear all, be myself, be very candid, and um, for better or worse, and people could judge for themselves. Bizarrely, although she was the one with the reality TV show, she hit out at her ex-husband for blabbing about their private lives. You know what, I, I, I would really prefer to keep our dirty laundry between the two of us and he chooses to do otherwise and that's his choice. I, I want to protect the girls, they'll one day see and read all of this. Meanwhile, Charlie had clearly moved on. Enjoying his status as the highest paid actor on TV for his ongoing role as hedonistic ladies man Charlie Harper in the sitcom Two and a Half Men. He's now married to real estate investor Brooke Mueller, who gave birth to twin boys in March 2009.